Hi everyone, my name is Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. I just got back from Walmart and Hobby Lobby and I just want to do a quick haul for you guys. It's nothing special. I'm just going to go over what I got. Um, so at Walmart, I finally found my smoked sausage from Hillshire Farm. This is like one of my favorite ones. It's been out forever. I've checked all sorts of stores, cannot find it. So I finally found it. They had plenty on the shelf, so I grabbed three. Same thing with seasoning blend. I've been looking all over the place for seasoning blend, and I finally found it, so I grabbed three of those. And y'all, these used to be like one dollar. Now they're a dollar, dollar fifty six, I believe. I'll take a picture of my receipt and put it at the end of the video, you know, just to keep track of the prices and inflation. Because y'all, oh my God, inflation is happening like crazy. Like I said, this used to be a dollar at Walmart. Now it's like a dollar fifty six. I'm a uh, so. That's why I like to put my receipts at the end so I can always go back in my videos for the ones that I do put it in to keep track of how much things are going up. I bought a gallon of milk, 2% milk. Another thing is sour cream. All right, I also picked up a long sleeve shirt. I really like this color for fall time. It's like one of my favorite colors. Um, it was $5.98 at Walmart. And yeah, it's always good to kind of start getting your winter clothes now before you can't find your size or they're just completely out. I picked up my dog, her vitamins. She's almost out. I mainly give her the healthy joints one because she does a lot of running around and she's so short and little, you know, I don't want her to have bad joints when she's older. So I have her those. And I also got her the total wellness ones. And then she was out of these um, marrow snacks she really really likes these so i picked up another one i picked up some snuggle exhilarations fabric softener this is the amber woods and honeysuckle i really like this scent for fall time it has like that warm scent you know so i can't wait to wash my bedding in that and then cuddle up in the night with a good movie and some popcorn <laughs> and be sniffing this because y'all oh this smells so good i love this all right i finally got my jambalaya box last time in my last haul as you can see I picked up the red beans and rice and I've just done a a uh, video with the red beans and rice for an shtf meal idea prep video so that will be coming either before this video or after we'll see um so this time I picked up the jambalaya I have that um my dog she has plenty of canned dog food but every time I go I try to get you know one, two, or three. This time I got three. You know, I got her the chicken and rice dinner, turkey and chicken recipe, and the T-bone steak flavor. Y'all, I don't like getting her the same thing, and that's it. Like, some people do. They only buy one brand, and that's understandable. That's what your dog likes, and if there's ingredients in it that your dog can tolerate, and you have to have that certain brand, I'm fine. But my dog, she gets tired of the same old stuff, you know, so I constantly have to switch it up for her. So that's why I get tons of different dog treats, tons of different dog canned foods and dry food all right another thing of my cherry uh what do you call this the drink mixes for your water bottles these are so good and uh sugar free a thing of tomatoes a big thing of the organic spring mix some tomatoes for salad with dinner one night all right you guys and i also got the totino's party pizza pack combination pizzas we really like these they're great for the toaster oven and they're really thin and crispy which is we, we love also we bought a thing of chicken broth um i have a whole bunch of chicken bone broth but i don't have any regular chicken broth i realized so each time i go i'm gonna pick up one and just slowly stock back up on those i picked up Y'all, these are really, really cheap. I think they're like 29 cents each. You know how they got the Campbell's chicken and star soup? Well, these are little stars, you know, little pasta stars you can put in your homemade soups. They got the stars and they have the alphabets. So I got two of the alphabets and one of the stars, where, you know, it's starting to get, well, it's not starting to get cold right now, but when it does get cold, I'm going to do a lot of like homemade soups. Um, so that's going to be good for that. I also got a bread here. Y'all, the bread aisle looked really good. I was surprised because the last couple times I went, I could not find any kind of bread except for what I found in the bakery aisle pretty much. So that was very well stocked. I was pleased to see that. But y'all, let me tell you, all the other shelves pretty much, you know, it's, it's either a hit or miss. But I just cannot find some stuff I've been looking for. I just can't. I'm glad I found my sausage 
and my seasoning blend, but a lot of other stuff I still cannot find. A lot of empty shelves, y'all. Um, food shortages are happening no matter which way you look at it for no matter what reason. It's causing a shortage on the shelves. So I was going to take pictures and do another video, but I've been going so late in the day that, you know, there's so many people and I don't want them in my pictures. And I don't want to have to wait around for them to leave the aisle, which, you know, can take forever. So one day I'm going to try to go either late at night or early in the morning to try to do a video for that. Um, yeah, to keep track of those empty shelves, really. Okay, I bought a thing of paper plates, a thing of heavy-duty aluminum foil, and another box of tissues. Um, I'm going to try to get a thing of paper plates and a thing of tissues each time I go to try to... Um, build back my stockpile on that because I kind of let it dwindle down and now I want to build it back up. Okay, also before Walmart, I went to Hobby Lobby. Um, Y'all, that's my favorite store. <laughs> I bought me a dish drying mat. Um, it's really cute. $7.99. It was 40% off. I really like it because, you know, fall is my favorite time. I also bought this little angel. It's a little crystal angel. This was $11.99 with, I think, 50% off. So I went ahead and picked that up for my daughter. I don't know if I'm going to give this to her now. Or I might put it up for her Christmas, you know, towards her Christmas stuff. Because I really need to start shopping for Christmas. So that's what I might do. Um, just get an item here and there and start putting it up for Christmas time. Instead of having to buy it all at once. So it's just a little angel. Just something for her bedroom. I bought this. Um... I believe this is like a candle stand. That's what I'm going to use it for. It was $2.99 with 40% off. I'm just going to put that on my desk with one of those little, either a real candle or a fake candle um, that lights up. I also got this leaf. I love this leaf, you guys. It's white and it has a gold trim on it. This is $9.99 and it was 40% off. So $6, really good deal. And this I'm just going to set either on my desk or in the living room with some fall and Halloween candy in it. So that is my haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was nothing really too proper related. It's just, you know, an average everyday haul. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, you guys.